Hi, my name is Professor Immler, and we will be talking about the ship of Theseus today. So, the ship of Theseus problem, it helps us ponder the question of how does change impact identity? When, during the course of something's development or change, as a thing changes, at what point exactly does it become a different thing entirely? Um, similar things don't seem to be the same thing. Um, but all of us are changing all of the time. So at what point do, do we change into different things? You were uh, almost a completely different person 10 years ago than you are today in terms of your body, in terms of your mind, in terms of how you think, etc. Uh, so this is an important question. The ship of Theseus helps us to start problematizing the issues. So uh, this comes initially from Plutarch. He writes in 75 CE, he gives an account of the travels and deeds of Theseus. Now, you can say Theseus or Theseus is the same. Uh, it's all about how you inflect the vowels. So the following passage um, is where the thought experiment comes from. So this is what he writes. The ship wherein Theseus and the youth of Athens returned had 30 oars and was preserved by the Athenians down even through the time of Demetrius Philarius, for they took away the old planks as they decayed, putting in new and stronger timber in their place, insomuch that this ship became a standing example among the philosophers for the logical question of things that grow. One side holding that the ship remained the same, and the other contending that it was not the same. Using this as our base, we can now talk about a couple of variations of the case, each highlighting a particular problem of identity. So, situation one, the 30-year journey of Theseus. Here are the facts, and we'll list them one by one. Theseus leaves Athens in 460 BCE for a 30-year journey. During the course of his voyage, he constantly is repairing his ship, cutting down trees, using the lumber to replace worn sections of his ship, and casting old materials into the river and ocean. By the time he returns in 430 BCE to Athens, all of the materials in his ship have been replaced, but the ship does look identical to the one that left. So, 